Hi, I'm Steve Schmoller, chef owner of Crop Bistro here in Cleveland and uh, cooking at home today. And actually, I just moved to a new house and interestingly, I had to bring my Connecticut K5 over, which you just installed. And uh, we're cooking with water today because it's really become one of my most important ingredients. And you'll see why as I'm doing this. So pickled vegetables. Um, these have become really, really hot and trendy in restaurants across the country. The best chefs are pickling all kinds of things. I love doing it because we use them on all kinds of dishes on the menu. And I also love them because I keep them in my refrigerator as a really healthy snack. It's very simple. You just have to have your stuff laid out ready to go. So here's what we do. I've got already um, my reverse osmosis water bring uh, to a boil, a large saucepan. And what we're going to do is we're going to blanch the harder vegetables here. So first thing, I've got little cauliflower nuggets, nice little bite-sized pieces. Get those right in. And I've got some fresh carrots, just little medallions of carrot. And my green beans. And that's all I'm going to blanch because I want these to actually be kind of the, the snappy, fresh, crunchy ones. They don't need to hit the water. So while that's blanching, and it literally blanching means basically exposing it to the boiling water for about a minute. We just want to tenderize a little bit and bring up some of the color. Now these are habaneros or scotch bonnet peppers. These are optional, but these really do give it a nice little background kick. So what you do is just... We don't really want the seeds from these, but just kind of fillet those off. Don't chop them up because we don't want the, all that flavor to go in. We just want to have little, little bites that the daring people who know what it is, they can pick it out and have it themselves. So the thing is with this reverse osmosis water is at the restaurant, we've learned that really it's the water of choice for us to cook with because there's no competing flavors. It's pure water. You're not going to smell any off flavors or taste any minerality. And as we cook things, it's important because we're, we don't want to reduce those off flavors. What goes in stays there. RO to start, RO to finish. So these little vegetables blanching look just about right, ready to go. And what I'm going to do is just strain these off. See what it does to the color there? It just makes those colors pop right up. Gorgeous. So now this is the kind of the fun part. Get your blanched vegetables right in there. Then I've got red pepper julienne. This is fresh fennel bulb, just light julienne as well, and some red onion. So now what you do is this is white vinegar, just plain white vinegar, two cups, then another two cups of just straight reverse osmosis water, then salt, Looks like a lot, but we need that to kind of get that pickling effect going. Then sugar, it's about a half a cup of sugar. And then our pickling spice, this is, I just mixed this up. You can kind of get creative on your own, but this is coriander seed, black pepper, some caraway, some mustard seed, and that's gonna do it. So. Just lightly toss these, and what you're going to do is, this is what we call refrigerator pickles. These aren't going to be going into a jar with a lid on it that sits in your cupboard for two years. We're going to want to eat these literally, oh, give it about 24 hours and they're optimal. Just let that marinate, sit that into your refrigerator covered, and these get better and better and better. Uh, and here's those habaneros. So, Warn your kids or your family that there are some spicy things in here, but look how gorgeous that is. It's all vibrant, fresh, great texture. Get this into the fridge, least overnight, 24 hours, but this will be good in your fridge for up to two, three weeks. 
Just keep it stirring it. If it lasts that long, you'll be surprised, but enjoy healthy, super fun, pickle it all. Cheers.